My name is Morgan. I'm a member of the International Youth and Students for Social Equality. Uh, the IYSSE is fighting for the unity of the international working class in a struggle against imperialist war and its source, the capitalist system. We've been warning of dangers of war with China for more than a decade, and we've opposed every imperialist war from a socialist standpoint. The record of Peter Garrett, in particular, a member of parliament for six years under a pro-war right-wing Labour government, is very different. The Ukraine war has not been mentioned once tonight. This war is now indisputably a US and NATO proxy war against Russia and threatens a global disaster. War with Russia is just one prong of American imperialism's global strategy, with the other being conflict with China. You cannot oppose one while supporting the other. Yet, along with Garrett, this entire panel is tied by a thousand strings to the Labour Party, which is prosecuting Australian involvement in Ukraine. So my, my question is, and it's addressed to Mr Garrett, you were a minister in the Gillard Rudd Labor government, which deepened and expanded Australia's role in the criminal US-led wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, mentioned before. Under Gillard, you and Labor embraced the US pivot to Asia, announced by Obama in 2010, which set in motion the preparations for Australia to play a frontline role in a potential war with China. A war that would almost inevitably involve nuclear weapons and threaten life on Earth. <laughs> So my question is, given this record, Mr. Garrett, and the pro-war record of the Labor Party, why shouldn't any young person, student or worker at this meeting and listening in conclude that your attendance at this forum exposes its claim to be anti-war as a lie? Mm.